Um, I'm going to introduce the um, manager's amendment, and then I know we have some um, number of members want to make comments, but I thought it would be good to get moving on that, and you can talk about that or anything else. Um, with these opening statements being concluded, we will move on to today's agenda. Uh, the committee will now proceed to consideration of four five, S4573, uh, the Electoral Count Reform and Presidential Transition Improvement Act. I call up the manager's amendment in the nature of a substitute that Senator Blunt and I are co-leading, uh, and I recognize myself to speak on the amendment. This manager's amendment um, is truly bipartisan. Uh, Senator Blunt and I jointly drafted and filed it, and all the changes in it are supported by Senator Collins and Manchin and the other members of the group. Um, and, and I appreciate um, Senator McConnell's words about the importance of that group and the work that they did and the recognition of their work. I also want to thank all the experts from both parties who gave feedback on the legislation, including elected officials like Minnesota Secretary of State Steve Simon. At our hearing last month, all the witnesses, Republicans and Democrats, agreed that we must update the Electoral Count Act to ensure the will of the voters prevails in future presidential elections. They also all expressed support for improvements to make sure the bill works the way it was intended. The manager's amendment will implement those changes. First, this is the management, manager's amendment. It protects against political gamesmanship by ensuring elections can only be extended in true emergencies and not for partisan reasons. We do that by adding language to clarify that only truly unforeseen emergencies qualify as extraordinary and catastrophic events that allow a state to extend voting in a presidential election. Second, it clarifies that a court can compel a governor to certify the correct electors and prevent a partisan official from overturning the will of the voters. Third, it makes sure that the expedited judicial review process doesn't preempt election cases that candidates and voters can bring under existing laws to defend their rights. Fourth, it will help prevent unnecessary Supreme Court decisions that would create uncertainty in elections by allowing the court to grant or deny review. There is general agreement on the committee that the court should make its own decisions about whether or not it takes up cases. Fifth, it requires governors to immediately transmit certificates of electors to the archivist of the United States, which will increase transparency by ensuring the certificates are publicly available sooner. The updates in the manager's amendment uh, are improvements that were supported by all involved that will help protect our presidential elections and strengthen our democracy. And while there are additional changes that I know some will like to see to the bill, we may hear about a few today, uh, these are provisions, the original bill as well as the manager's amendment, that will achieve a strong bipartisan consensus, and we should be very proud of this bill. I thank Senator Blunt again for his work on this manager's amendment. I urge our colleagues to join us in supporting it. Senators, want to... We're going to have 